Tell us about Video RSS, kind of where that stands and what you're trying to do. Yeah, so it's evolving. Uh, it really started out with video podcasting to mostly for iTunes users a couple of years ago. And there's still thousands and thousands of those kinds of quick time based video podcasts out there. What we're seeing happening uh, just in the last year, I'd say, is a huge groundswell of flash based video RSS feeds that are purely intended for web based consumption. And so we're really riding on the coattails of that trend, indexing these feeds. We've got about 10,000 publishers now that are indexed in our database and making the feeds available for people to subscribe to on the web. In a nutshell, the huge value for publishers is when people visit a, a web video site, they tend to consume around three, four, five percent of the video that gets published. When they subscribe to a feed with channels or with another uh, kind of subscription model, they cons tend to consume about 80 percent of the video that gets published. For, so for episodic video publishers or news publishers or sports publishers, this is a huge way to get a more engaged, more loyal viewer base. You know, order of magnitude greater, 10, 11, 12 times greater videos viewed. Okay, so where do they watch them uh, through, through, through uh, where, where does the, the, the feed show up? Yeah, so that's a, that's a common question from publishers. They first look at our site, they see their video playable on our site, and they think, oh my God, these people are stealing our content. That's not the case. All of the content that's playable on channels, subscribe, that you can subscribe to on channels, is streamed directly from the content provider's site. And these are all public RSS feeds. It's sort of like an embed. So if you go to the channel site, you subscribe to a couple of feeds, maybe the Beat TV feed, and then each day you can go back to channels and see what new videos have been added in your subscriptions. But again, played from the publisher's site. So they get full credit for the video impressions and for the ad impressions that are part of the video. Back in the uh, good old days when this started, it was mostly the podcast, mostly the, the, that was syndicated. Now it's not. What, what's sort of the state, like what's the sort of the mix, uh, if you could say, in terms of feeds, the kinds of feeds that people are taking for video now? Yeah, it's pretty wide open. You know, we've been surprised to see, uh, I'd say about 15 or 20 percent of the video plays and the feed subscriptions on our site are from so-called premium providers, you know, very large websites, cable networks, TV broadcasters kind of content. But the vast majority, 75 or 80 percent of the feeds are from relatively small companies or even individuals that publish feeds. Beat TV is probably, you know, a, a classic example of the kind of feed uh, that's carried on Channels.com, though in all different categories, you know, all sorts of different subject matter and genre.